Hey everybody, we're back here again, and um, we just spent a really long time um, trying yeah, to put these books together for the Hobbies and Pastimes book tag. Um, I was tagged by um, Old Blues Chapter and Verse, uh-oh, where'd my picture go? And... Um, let me see. I guess uh, it was created by Mark Nash. So definitely check out both of their channels. Um, both super good. Um, okay, so a sport. A novel with the best sporting contest or event portrayal. Um, I won't say the best because I don't... Um, necessarily read a lot of sporting books. I something. This is going to happen a lot. What's up? What's the Japanese? <laughs> What's the Japanese one where they go on the island and they kill each other? Like Hunger Games, but the Japanese original. Battle Royale, the movie? Yeah. Have you read that book? I didn't know it was a book. I just thought it was a movie. Oh, it was a book. Okay. Carry on. Um, all right, so what I picked was um, On the Beach. Now you might be thinking, huh? Um, there is um, a character in here who has a race car, and he, all he wants to do is race. Right. And he um, there's a race put together um, before the end of the world, and he races. And um, so that's a lot of fun. Um, Gizmo, stop it. Um, so yeah, one of the other problems I had with this is that I didn't want to re reuse the same author because there are four authors I could think of off the top of my head that I could have answered every single one of these questions with, like done one author, one author, and you know what? That might be fun actually to try this again and just do one author yeah, a piece. Um, Okay, music. A novel with the best musician or composer character. Hey, Fred. Um, what did we decide to go with for that? Shoot, we had one and then I took it off. Because... We you changed it. We were going to do a different one. Um... Crap, did I totally just like... No. Oh! That's right. Okay, um, H.P. Lovecraft has a short story. It's not in this book, and it's not in the other big book I have. Um, but it's called uh, The Music of Eric Zahn, and um, it's about this guy who plays a uh, viol. And, um, hey, is there in all possibilities that you could take care of Giz? Yeah, I'm on it. Thanks. He's whining because he doesn't have his blanket on him. <laughs> um, but anyway, so this like college kid starts um, hanging out with this old German dude who plays the thing or whatever. And um, the sounds that he comes up with are crazy and no one's ever heard before. And it turns out like some otherworldly demons are... Um, helping him come up with these magical tunes. And um, I won't tell you anything more than that because that gets into the territory. Um, collecting. A novel with a character who collects things. And for that, I picked Carter Brown's The Uptight Blonde. Now, I could have done this whole list with just Carter Brown books. Um... For realsies. And with books you've written yourself. And books I've written myself. That was another thing. We kept coming across things and I'm like, ooh, we could use blah, blah, blah. Um, but I didn't want to shamelessly promote myself. I can't remember which ones we said we were going to shamelessly promote. There was a lot. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, so in this book, um, what the guy does is um, he collects... Um, paintings of married women 
that he has slept with and then tries to um, blackmail the women with the paintings with their husbands. Um, so I could have used this for the art question coming up too, um, but I didn't. So um, yeah, so that's a fun one. Let's see here. Um, cookery, a novel with a great cooking or dining scene. Oh, um, slugs. <gasps> Best dining scene yeah, ever. Yeah, um, a dude's head blows up. Spoiler alert. Enough said. There's a lot of eating scenes because there's the one that's like, mm, did you put anchovies in the salad? Gross. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, this is disgusting. So, Best film ever. Yeah, it's about slugs that eat people. Um, art. Sean Hudson. Sean. Oh, Sean Hudson. Sorry. Um, art. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Now, here's the funny thing. I picked this book for one thing and then moved it to another thing. And then finally it landed at art. Um, so... There is a young girl who paints pictures of Barbra Streisand. Um, and she came to Las Vegas to give Barbara um, all these paintings of her. And they're really bad. And they're awful, yeah. Okay. Um, let me see. Hunting. So we will go hunting or fishing. And we will go with The Sun Also Rises, Ernest Hemingway. I, and it's funny that this is what came up because the scene where they go fishing, it's like in the middle of the book, it totally derails the whole fucking story. Um, I think really the only reason it's in there is to let you know that he's impotent. But if you didn't pick up on that in the first couple chapters, I, I, I don't know. Um, but they're, it's just, there's no reason. And every, and I was talking to Liz about this, about how, um, Ernest Hemingway is supposed to be this guy who does really quick prose and blah, 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 blah. And it's funny that I found, um, a chapter of a book that I wanted out of it. So, um, there's that. Hun, I don't know what you're doing, but can you please? I'm not doing anything. I'm trying to keep it quiet. I know, and you're going, shh. <laughs> okay. Um, gardening. Um, or we're just. Like thanks, babe. <laughs> we're just going to do some foliage. Um, but Son of Tarzan by Edgar Rice Bros. This is the one, this is, an, I probably could have done this whole thing with Tarzan books. Um, but the thing about this book is that um, Tarzan's kid and this chick he finds, she's a little girl, I don't know why I called her a chick, sorry. Um, they kind of live in the trees and um, there's, it's very nature-y and they, talk a lot about like the flora and fauna around them um no fred fred shaley brought a snail home nice. it's a long story um but yeah so this is for that I, I it's it's very beautiful and touching how they do it or how he does it in there um bird watching um and that would be Dashiell Hammett's The Maltese Falcon. Um, that is a bird. And it's featured. It's a classic. Done. Classic. It's no. it's not my favorite. No. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think Red Harvest or... Um, to be honest, the Continental Op stories I like better than the Sam Spade stories. So, um, there you go. You can take that for what you, what you will. But, um, I was wanting that to be better. I remember. Okay. Genealogy. Kurt Vonnegut Galapagos. And this is because this book takes place, 
um, in, I guess, like, when it was, from the time when it was written, in the near future, it talks about um, people's parents and stuff like that from the past. But then the book talks about the people in the present, and then the people generations ahead who have, like, flippers and shit um, because of the events that take place in this book. Um, it's really good. You really should. She hasn't read Slaughterhouse-Five. But I haven't read Mr. James. M.R. James. The Mesitant. She was telling me about it, and I almost crapped my pants. It's a classic. But I also sent her a short video of The Nun today. <laughs> and it's she... Called it's called The Nun. And she had the sound off on her phone <laughs> and still totally jumped. And she was like, oh my god, my heart's racing. <laughs> um, That's terrifying. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, Modeling, a novel in which someone constructs a model, a model railway set, or something in miniature. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, so for this, I'm going to do Richard Matheson's The Shrinking Man. Um, this is a really old copy. It's all beat up. Um, but yeah, there he is fighting a black widow with a oh my um, God, pin. I didn't know you even had that. Yeah. I'm going to read that next. Don't read this version of it. Why? I don't want you to trash it. It's really... F I trash no, but like pages are starting to like come out. It's like really fucked up. You need to get another copy then because I yeah. don't want to read it. Look, like there's like... I don't know what the fuck's going on there. That's amazing. But yeah. Though. Look at it. You no, know, it's an old gold medal book. I didn't even know you had that book. Yeah. I think I got this when we went to that paperback show. Tell them we're going to go to the thrift store tomorrow. We're going to the thrift store tomorrow. I don't know why I have to we tell you that. We might get some other stuff. And we have some other stuff to show anyway. Yeah. Um, home Brewing, a novel that contains moonshine, bootleggers, or unlicensed drinking. Shockingly enough, we went through... This was the hardest one, wasn't it? Yeah. We went through... A ton of books that should have had moonshine in it. What books have you read with a bunch of... Oh, Lonesome Dove? Yeah, okay. Um, so I went with the... Luminaires. The Luminaires. I went with the Unlicensed Drinking. Skins. Ham on Rye. Oh, classic. Classic. This is where um, love that book. Charles Bukowski um, or Henry Chnansky gets drunk with his buddy um, and tries to... And this is the first time they've drank multiple beers. And um, he, she's making tea. Um, he gets her, or he gets the dude so drunk that he um, feels sick and is going to pass out. And so Hank decides that he's going to stay there, keep drinking until um, the dude's mom gets home. Because she's super hot and works at a bar. And he's going to give it to her. Whoa. And he's um, a virgin, Whoa. and and he's gonna um, give it to her. And so when she gets home and sees that Hank's all drunk and her son's passed out, and he starts giving her the lip, um, it really funny things happen after that. So, and this is another book that I had on here for like eight different things. So um, that happened. Uh, gambling. Um, so we'll put that one off to the side. Um, and for gambling, I have The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. Um, one of the daughters of the, was it the general? I think it's the general. Um, Casino Royale. Oh, shit. We had Casino Royale, yeah. Oh, my God, babe. I can't believe I didn't think of Casino Royale. Anyway, this is the one I'm holding, so this is what I'm going to go with. Um, she wins a bunch of money at this casino with, and the guy who runs the like underground casino is a dude she kind of dates, and he sent one of his goons outside to F her up and steal the money that she just won from the <laughs> club, and um, <coughs> Philip Marlowe's there and beats that dude up, and then I the everything's fine. 
Babe, you are a train wreck right now. <laughs> okay. Um, cosplay, a novel in which a character dresses up or goes in disguise. And for this, oh, man. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I got to remember the name of the story. It's The Twisted Lip. The Man with the Twisted Lip. And The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. Um, oh, yeah, you told me. Yeah, um, so Watson's trying to find this chick's husband, goes into an opium den, and finds this dude um, who's in a disguise, turns out to be Sherlock Holmes, and then um, they leave. But that always cracked me up, because how Watson's like, what the hell are you doing here? Um, I really dug that a um, little bit. So it's too crazy here. The dogs are going crazy. Zoe doesn't know how to whisper, um, and she's turning lights off, boiling kettles, drinking wine, so wrestling sorry. dogs, and she's got a neck pillow on the whole time. It's it's madness. Madness here. Madness. Um, so um, this was a really fun tag. It was really stressful. Is that the end of it? Yeah. Really? You've been fucking around doing all sorts of shit. That's why you missed it. Um but anyway, so this was a lot of fun. Thanks for the tag. And um, let me see. I'm going to tag different people. I would really like to see um, Paperback Mania do this. Yes. With all of like just like 80s horror titles. Yeah. That would be really cool. What about picking out books? Picking out books? Yeah, definitely. Um, Steve Donahue, is he done it? I don't know if Steve's done it. I'm sure people... Steve, if no one's tagged you, you're it. Um, but... If you want to see me do this with, like, one author and go down a list like that, I could do that, too. So... Partridge. Get him on it. Partridge. Wherever you are, tell them to let you out so you could do more BookTube Seriously. videos. Um, and the Sundays with Steve, that was a lot of fun. And yeah. it's it? it's not happening anymore. I might have to take over. Oh, that's an awful idea. Wow. Sundays with this jerk. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, playing D and D, guys. So anyway, um, yeah. If you want to do this tag, do it. If you want me to do um, different variations of this tag, um, I'll do that too. So until next time, everybody. Bye bye.